Anytime, anywhere. Let's rock. Notch up another kill. Stay frosty. Anytime, anywhere. Simplify. Bag em and tag em. Anytime, anywhere. Stay frosty. Simplify. I got your back. Notch up another kill. Anytime, anywhere. I got your back. Bag em and tag em. My parents were scientists. They taught me biology is war. To win, a species must endure, reproduce, survive. The foes we're about to face evolved to win at all costs. They don't care about their losses, so long as they're the last ones standing. They're as cunning, adaptable, and tenacious as any marine. But they lack our purpose, our conscience, and our mercy. 40th Marine Expeditionary Unit. This fight is not a simple bug hunt. Know our enemy. Know your strengths. Work together and live to fight another day. Colonel Ship, signing off. Take the cryo-freeze off, Marine. We got woke by a distress call. A Dr. Tim Hanukkah sent a mayday from an orbital refinery. Situation ain't clear, but on the outer rim, there's always a chance of xenomorphs. Board the station, find Hanukkah, and extract them. Staff Sergeant Herrera will be the voice in your ear. She'll guide you, warn you of enemy movements, and provide support. Might want to talk to Herrera before you deploy. Hey, we didn't get a chance to brief earlier. Short version, while you're on the tip of the spear, I'll be in the dropship with LT Co running Overwatch and eating my abuela's cookies. You listen to what I say, I'll get your ass out in the smallest possible number of pieces. And you can have a cookie. You got any questions? Now's the time. Hell no, I'll be in the platoon tack ops center running shit by remote. Better me than some butter bark on my mierda fresh out of OCS, huh? Usually I'm in a dropship on Overwatch. When we ain't got air superiority, I'm dirt sight in an APC. When things have really gone to shit, I'll be in a foxhole brushing dirt off a laptop with one hand and shooting with the other. Point is, I run ranged sensors and tech support for you. For anything I can't handle, I call Esther. Our battalion synthetic, an android. She's a medical corpsman, science advisor, electronic warfare tech, and MFLC. That's a military and family life counselor. Fancy way to say she listens if you got issues. While we're in the freezers for long trips, Esther and Endeavor's mother computer keep the ship running. She doesn't normally deploy, but we get her on the radio to solve problems. 
Did the Penejos at the Recruit Depot give you any briefing? Or they just kick your ass into cryo and call it a day? The Endeavor's a Tianxin class assault ship, cutting edge of the United America's fleet. Built at Welch's station, commissioned in 2194. Remember the old Conestoga attack transports from the 70s? Well, we're about three times the size. More self-sufficient, more amenities, bigger guns. You and me both. Let's do this. Oh, thanks. I got distracted and left that out. I'll grab it later. Fulminium's a meta-material. Engineered in a lab for some specific combination of durability, friction, thermal tolerance, whatever. It's copyright and trademark of Armat Battlefield Systems. Using their weapons along with a bunch of other materials. Plastics, more conventional alloy powders. All that gets fed into Endeavor's fabricators. I load up a blueprint on the computer, press print, and in minutes, you have a new weapon. Never fired, just for you. Nice, huh? For 200 years, the Corps has been trying to get our logistics to this point. Anything you want, I can make on demand for materials and bulk storage. Weapons, ammunition, maintenance parts, chow hall trays, anime figurines, whatever. Been looking for that banner. Should be hung up in the briefing room. Somebody must have got drunk and grabbed it. When I find out who, I'll feed their ass to a lion worm. Yo, listen up. I ain't gonna quiz your knowledge. If you got through boot, you know it. 101 years ago, they renamed the USMC the Colonial Marines. For a long ass while, we operated as a U.S. National Service under United America's Allied Command. After the Colonial Protection Act, they got serious about force integration. Renamed us the United America's Colonial Marines. Stepped up recruitment outside North America. Our mission's the same. The interstellar force and readiness. Solving the operational and logistical challenges of assaulting and securing an unfriendly and potentially uninhabitable planetoid with only upwell support. You got it?
Yes, I've seen the commissioning plaque. The Tianjin-class assault ships were designed to enforce the Colonial Protection Act. The first came off the lines in 93. In theory, we can patrol independently. A marine battalion and a dropship squadron can handle any problem on the ground. And we've got Park's fabricators. We can make whatever ammo, parts, and weapons we need. The old Conestoga and Bougainville transports had to restock at logistical flotillas. If the UPP gets restless, things change. Endeavor's a transport. We've got kinetics and nukes for a planetary bombardment, and enough dues and ASATs to roast pirates and mercs. But a real warship or a squadron of strike bombers would shred this beast into confetti. Hey, we didn't get a chance to brief earlier. Short version. What, you're on the tip of the spear? I'll be in the dropship with LT Co running over. You listen to what I say? I'll get your ass out in the smallest. You and me both. Let's do this. Fire team, this is a rescue mission. You're boarding Katanga, a derelict orbital refinery. Ingress is via the forward airlock. You'll locate, secure, and evac Dr. Tim Honecker, a Weyland Yutani scientist. So mount up, people. We got a ping on Dr. Honecker's personal data transmitter. He's not far in. First, we need a deck plan. Pull one off a terminal and chlorine extraction. Huh, just emergency lights. Then maybe we can kick the backup power after we grab Honecker. Patch into the console. I'll pull it down over wireless. Give me a second. Got a deck plan. Backup generator is beyond Honecker's ping. We can kick it after we grab him. Our man should be in the junction ahead. Honecker, this is the Colonial Marines. You hearing me? Acid damage. Not encouraging. Continue your sweep. He should be right here. High speed incoming, get hot! Don't lock up! Way more than I expected! Watch the route in! Hey, on the deck, Hanukkah 
Hunter's PDT chip. He cut it out. But why? Doors welded shut. Sloppy work. Guess Hanukkah went this way. Moniker, probably. Release the locks. Anyway, I'm thinking we can track the doctor using station logs. I found a data access point, but it's further in. Concentrate on getting the power up. Acid in one bug. Where did these come from? Dynamo rooms just ahead. Restart's mostly automated. Prowler. is gonna make noise, vibration, heat, whatever bugs key off, they'll catch it. This thing's been idle a long while. It's gonna take time to... Movement!
a swarm brewing. Break out the heavy shit, this is gonna get spicy. Access I mentioned is just ahead. We'll see if Honaker's left any tracks. I got Esther standing by to analyze the logs. She's our battalion synthetic. Hello, Marines. It is a pleasure to work with you. Passing up. Well. Done. was accessed, I believe by Dr. Honecker. Marines, head to the core. When we reach Honecker, we're gonna have to ID by his blood or by his teeth. I, I got a pool running. sign in space. Deal 
was the generator. Expect little friends to pop out all over when this turns on. Eight here. Patching up. Here they come. This is a big damn signal. Eight here. We are Patching up. That's what my betting pool thinks. What'd you find? Colonial indenture contract. Oh, those are fun. From Sikhs, undated 2175. So, look, people in the Corps want to move out to the colonies, right? Maybe there ain't jobs. Maybe they're dreamers. 
So they signed with a megacorp. A company pays for passage, then they work for X years. And that's how people get stuck out here. Most end up in the outer rim, places settled enough to vote, have schools and mail, irregular cargo and passenger shipping. And some get sent to the frontier. Everything between the outer rim and wherever the furthest surveyor is. Those What'd you find? Colonial indenture contract. Oh, those are fun. From Sikson, dated 2175. So, look, people in the core want to move out to the colonies, right? Maybe there ain't jobs. Maybe they're dreamers. So they sign with a megacorp. A company pays for passage, then they work for X years. And that's how people get stuck out here. Most end up in the outer rim. Places settled enough to vote, have schools and mail, irregular cargo and passenger shipping. And some get sent to the frontier. Everything between the outer rim and wherever the furthest surveyor is. Those are just uh, outposts, rough and ugly terraformers, mine shafts, and uh, prefab shacks. These days, the outer rim's a hundred light years from Earth, give or take. Last 20 years, the companies have set stakes farther and farther out. You got a scan of Katanga's black box? Nice! Look at that thing. It's what, 80 years old? These big refineries were supposed to be the future. Park them in orbit, fill them up, then tell them home while it all gets processed en route. They were made to mine metallic asteroids. Let me scan the logs real quick. In the early 70s, Seekson refit Katanga to crack ice. They'd haul a berg into the top of Lukasi Tower, and the works ground it down into water and byproducts. All that got piped over to Bashi Tower, the water got purified, and they split it into hydrogen and oxygen. You get life support and ship propellant. Huh. Entry stop in 2177. The last ones are about receiving evacuees and then... some kind of exterior override. Weird. Marine, I heard you got scans of a face hugger. Let me see. Hmm. A well preserved specimen. I'm going to pass this to Esther for analysis. We have a lot to learn about Xenomorph XX121's life cycle. Ovomorphs, eggs, and the face huggers that hatch from them are easy to contain and study. Once the parasitic phase ends in a chest burster, it gets hard. Adult forms are hostile. Acid blood melts autopsy equipment. Studies are complicated by the DNA reflex. The host parasitized by a xenomorph changes the morphology and behavior of the adult form. Runner and prowler morphs breed from quadruped pack and herd animals, dogs, cattle. Drones and warriors, they come from humans. That's why civilians mistake them for the real form of Xenos. In reality, we've got no idea what the original form of Xenomorph XX-121 was. I'm Ibrahim Savani, Colonial Marines Intelligence, Surveillance and Recon Service. Yes, most Marines call us Kamisars. No, we're not as bad as you've heard. Katanga has over 80 years of history, but the interesting bit is from 25 years ago. Its owner, Sikson Company, reported the refinery was destroyed. Yet, here it floats, in a system controlled by Sikson's rival, Wayland Yutani.
We compile information on threats to the United Americas and provide it to the Corps to act on. Our sources range from battlefield recon to cyber warfare. Some believe we have spies everywhere, but that's simply not true. If everyone worked for us, who would we spy on? <laughs> that, that, that was a joke. <laughs> we, we joke sometimes. In the previous century, they were a moderately large interstellar corporation. They even had aspirations of competing with Whale and Jutani. Sikson invested heavily in space facilities. In 2174, they purchased Katanga from its previous owner. The refinery was refit and towed to the mid-brim. Katanga was originally constructed 82 years ago by Kinshasa Enterprise Diatat Minier, the state mining enterprise of the DR Congo. In 2070, Kinetat fell under sanction by the United Americas Assembly. They had sold resources to the revolutionary forces during the Hyades' revolts. To survive the financial losses, they auctioned off their space assets. That's when Sigson purchased Katanga. Unclear, the ICC logged that Sigson scuttled it due to irreparable damage. There are no details on the cause or scope of that damage. You'd expect insurers to demand that. I'm following up with Central. If we learn something you need to know, you'll be informed. Here's a speech. Pay attention. I'm in the middle of six annoying things, and neither of us want you to become number seven. When you boarded, you got four basic field kits. Solid armad equipment, no frills. Enough to do your job. You got setups for rifle, heavy weapons, tech, and medical. Based on the missions you complete, you get assigned requisition credits. You come to me, ask for the equipment, and if you got the credits, I fabricate it for you. You can requisition new weapons, or attachment for weapons, or consumables. Special ammunition, sentry guns, mines, whatever. I let Marines pick their own gear. You deploy with the wrong shit, you're the one who bites it, not me. Talk to your fire team, work out who's doing what. You're in the field, boot. When you get back to port, hit the commissary or exchange. <laughs> That's my official answer. Between you, me, and the bulkhead, I also got a special inventory. Stuff to personalize your gear. I don't take requisition credits for that. We got an unofficial system. Anybody asks, just say you tactically acquired it. Anything not on the racks, I can pull out of Cargo 4. If you've got a Wayland Yutani, anyone asks, you didn't get it from me.
There's an airlock right over there. Step outside and tell me what the weather's like. <laughs> 